what is going on guys not the creeper here and today I am going to be showing you guys how to port forward a minecraft server for minecraft 1.7.10 uh, so that is the absolute newest version of minecraft up to date so far um just one second what you gotta do to get the server going is I'm going, first of all I'm going to show you guys what to download and what you need for this installation process so you I will leave all these links in the description so your first link that you need to download is the build number I think it was like yeah it was the first one 3095 so just click on that um, I don't know what color that is but click on that arrow click keep And then you can you can close this by now. And then there's another web page that I'm going to leave in the description below, which is an AdFly link. Now these are the this is the download to the codes that you need. Click this download link, and then you need to wait five seconds in the top right hand corner. Click skip ad, and then it'll take you to a media fire. Now what you want to do is click download and then drag this bring it to your desktop uh well, i already i already downloaded it okay so i already have it here but what you want to do is click and drag it to your desktop same with the craft bucket click drag it to your desktop and then you can go ahead and close that and then now you're at the port forwarding thing so i wouldn't go through this process because i already know how to do it but this is only because since every router is different you're going to have a different interface when you log into your IP address here from everyone else's and it's all mixed up so the reason why this website is here that I'm going to show you is because for your personal router it shows you step-by-step -step images how to get to the port forwarding thing if you do already know how to do that then just skip this part uh, so you got your two downloads that's all you need and then click on routers and then click find your router over here um, I don't even know <laughs> if I should pick mine or not but um, okay. uh, if you don't want to keep looking through this then what you could do is just hold Control and then hit F and then just type in the first letter of your router name if you know it. Mine is one of these three. I don't even know. Um, yeah, this this is mine. So click click your thing and to figure out what that is, you can just go over here. Like go up to your physical router and read the bottom of it with with this sticker. Then it says like what version it is, the ID, you know, you know what I mean. So that's what you gotta look for over there. And then now it's going to show you what game you want to port forward. Now it's two five five six five for the ports, but I'll get into that afterwards. So again, you want to hit Control F and type in Minecraft server. Oh shit, wrong one. Uh, Minecraft, Minecraft, where'd you go? Minecraft server. And then it'll show you. See, this is my uh, router, and it shows you here with the images how to do it. So if you do not know how to do this, then pause the video right now and slowly, slowly click on the images and watch how to do this. So, uh,. I already know how to do this so after this step what you want to do is um, you don't got you guys don't need that anyway uh, go to your start button and then type in CMD which is command prompt once you're at command prompt type in IP config press enter and then you will need your uh, your IP4 IPv4 address 
So write this down on a piece of paper or something because you can't copy on command prompt. So I already got this memorized. Open up your web browser again. Go into your address bar. Type in 192.168.2.1. That's mine. I already have it favorited over here. Uh, but if you do not have it favorited, then just click on that. Wait, no, wrong. <laughs> 168.2.11 It originally it would pop up but since I favorited mine this is how it goes regularly and then this is what's this is what will pop up one of these things now if you know your username and password then check it out and if you don't then go to that port forwarding thing that I showed you and on that website it's going to tell you what the username and the password is and then you just copy and paste it and paste it into here I mean copy and paste it into here uh, but I already know my mind like admin admin click login um, okay so now I will go to network port forwarding and then here is the games I have port forwarded so far so mine is I have no more room in hell and mw3 and my minecraft server already so I'm just going to delete this so that I can show you guys from scratch uh, rule name create new rule you can just call it MC server and by the way guys watch out how many ports you can port forward because some routers don't let you exceed a certain amount oh shit okay Protocol is both source port is two five five six five two five five six five destination IP or host name. You want to click uh, your personal computer, so the computer that you're going to be running the server off of, which is mine is this one. Click save, settings saved, and now you got your now you got your server port forwarded. So, if you want to check it, port forward test, you get signal. There we go. Yeah, you can see if it's open and it's working on this website, but sometimes it doesn't really work. See, right now it says it's closed because I, I'm not running the server. But once you got the the server running, it will say open. But this is retarded anyway. I don't I don't like using that. Um, so now that we got a port forwarded, we can create the server. Click a uh, folder, new fol create a new folder, rename it. I'll just call it YouTube Server, and double click that. Drag your craft bucket in there, and then right click new text document. Double click that to open it, and then open up your codes the code uh, WinRAR thing and then open up this text document we can close the WinRAR if you have Windows this is the code you want to highlight and right click and copy if you have Linux this is it and if you have Mac I've written down some instructions because some Mac us some Mac users will find it confusing how to create a Minecraft which is uh, Windows oriented so PC so I writ I writ written down some steps for you guys just to help you out a bit, and then this is the code for Mac with the instructions. So I'm with Windows, so copy that. Go to your text document, paste, file, save as, and then save as type all files, and then you want to rename the file name to run dot bat. It's going to be a batch file. So you want to save that and close these two files up. Once you do that, you can right click and delete the whatever that was. I, I already forgot the text file. And then you want to get rid of all that and just name it craftbucket.jar. Now you want to double click run and a CMD command prompt thing will pop up and all the codes are running and it's going to generate all the files that you need and it's really awesome so right now it's just preparing the world 
I think that's like the regular world and then that's the nether. So now that it says done, you can just minimize that and play on your server. You can change the ops. Uh, I'm going to create myself an op. If this doesn't work, there we go. Save. If that doesn't work in the actual game, then you can just type it in here. Uh, op Napty Creeper. And it says console opt Napty Creeper. Or you can type in help and it gives you all the commands over here. There's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, and whitelist if you want to whitelist. User catch. I don't know what that is. Server properties. You can. You know, screw around with that. If you cannot open that, then right click, open with notepad, and then you can screw around with this. Difficulty command block true, just in case if I want to play on a map. Spawn monsters, max players. I will create mine at 50. Spawn monsters. Mot moat b nap b creeper server uh, save okay and if you guys want to drag a world in here then what you want to do is delete nether and the end and delete the world drag in the world in here from your saves on your percent app data percent roaming dot minecraft saves drag the world in here and then double click run and it will generate the nether and the end plugins what you got to do for this is a piece of cake go to your browser oh, I'm already on Google did they score yet I don't know um go to plugins bucket I think I already have one though um optifine I, re I remember getting like what's it called control tpa okay here it is so this is how it's going to download into a java form or i can download into uh it can download for a winrar winrar uh double click that and then just click and drag it into the plugins so yeah guys that, that was it for today's thing i will show you guys how it works and how you log in and how your friends are going to log in so click play as you can see i'm running 1.7.10 which is the newest version of minecraft and my server is running so hold on let me just open up sizer so that it's a little bit bigger for you guys so go to multiplayer uh, edit okay so this is going to be your default gateway IP when you go on command prompt I'm not going to go on it now because my server is running on it but it's going to be your default gateway um so that's what you're going to log in and then the public IP is what your friends and the public is going to log in so you're going to log in on your default gateway 68.2.11 logging in oh yes I spawned into a freaking awesome biome I even forgot what the name of the biome is but yeah this works and let me see if I'm op game mode Yeah, okay, so I'm up. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Help. Uh, I'm going to leave now and show you guys what IP I'm talking about. So just go there and then type in public IP. And then it'll say right here. Sometimes it changes 
Like sometimes the amount was just seven four, and now it's one seven four. So just keep an eye out for that. If it, you're playing with like ten people on your Skype or something, just like right click, copy, and then just send it to them. That's so that's what they're going to log in. Never let them log in onto your personal IP, which is your default gateway. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you guys. And I tried to be as thorough as I could. Uh, leave your IP in the, in the comment section I'll check it out if you want me to and play with you guys I wouldn't mind uh, if you guys need any personal help then contact me on Skype via through the comments leave your Skype and whatever I'll help you guys out so yeah that was it for today I hope you guys really liked this hit that like button and subscribe